While the signs of fall are everywhere with the changing colors and earlier sunsets, we're still soaking up the last drops of summer. Welcome to the week five edition of the High School Blitz, where the warm temperatures have us enjoying the final Friday of summer. A number of teams looking to remain hot, while others are hoping to use this as a fresh start heading into fall football. We start in the North Shore Conference, where undefeated Cedarburg faces one loss, Whitefish Bay, the Bulldogs threatening late in the second quarter. And from the three yard line, that's Logan Zauer getting into the end zone 27 to 14. Bulldogs. With 18 seconds left in the half, Cedarburg trying to tack on one more score before the end of the half. Alex Evanoff escaping pressure, rolling out, throwing just before he gets hit. But Marcus Webb is there for the interception in the end zone as the Bulldogs blow out the Blue Dukes 56 to 21. The other undefeated team in the North Shore, Slinger, facing a desperate Nicolet team on the road. The Owls driving early. Michael Thede pitching it to Santos Rodriguez, and he bowls his way into the end zone for a 7 0 lead. Looking for an answer, the Knight Sawyer Broneman throws into coverage, and well, that doesn't end well for him. Caleb Burkle is there for the interception, then he cuts across the field, and he takes it all the way in for the score. Slinger slams Nicolet 48 to nothing. Now, Nicolet is a special place for touchdown Tommy Fitzgerald's family. That's where his mom, Beth, was an athlete, and tonight he had some more family on hand at his mom's alma mater, where he also got a bit of a history lesson. Touchdown, Tommy Fitzgerald here at Nicolet. We are here with my grandparents. It's homecoming tonight. Did you know that? I did know that. Do you have any Jolly Ranchers for me? Oh, lots of them, lots of them. Did you play football for the Knights? I did play football for the 1997, or 1996 and 1997 Knights. Were you guys good? We were not good. Breaking news, Slinger's really good. Thank you, Tommy. I love that your grandparents were on hand for this one. Well, the battle for bragging rights in Tosa taking place between East and West. Both come in at 2-0 in the Parkland Conference, tied at 14 when West shows its belief in the line. Quarterback Kevin Gibbs following his left guard in for the sneak. Six points go on the board. East answers by giving the ball to Davian Hayes. He takes it 15 yards around the corner for the tying score. But with the third 130 to go in the game, West has Avian Cunningham, and he makes a great move at the line, and then he takes takes off and nobody is going to catch him giving the Trojans a 28 to 21 lead and that's the difference West is the best this time with a 28 to 21 win here's head coach Nick Vitale it's awesome man our kids work their butts off it's a huge game that's a really good football team came out on top you know that's something we put in this past week you gotta get the ball the ball to your best players and Avion's one of our best and he made something happen he sure did. Well, hats off goes to the fans at this one as the Trojan faithful rock the place tonight throughout the back and forth affair, almost willing their team to the win. Their student section earns the honor of High School Blitz Fans of the Week. When it comes to rivalries, it's hard to top the one in southeastern Milwaukee County. Two storied programs living next door to each other, but completely separated. Tonight, Franklin and Oak Creek becoming a little more hostile with each other over the helmet trophy. Lily Zhao has the story from our High School Blitz Game of the Week. What's not to love about an Oak Creek Franklin rivalry game? Knights fans are certainly ready, and they had plenty to cheer about because on the first play of the game, Blake Furcus airs it out for Max Hoagland and hits him in stride for the 50 yard touchdown. What a way to open up the game. The Sabres went to work after that as Ben Burgess goes up to get this ball from Joey Calais, and he'll haul it in for the 20 yard score. It's a 7 7 ball game. Franklin took over from there, and after an onside kick, Robert Beglinger houses this one. He breaks a couple tackles on his way for a 44-yard score, and the Sabres led 24-7 at the half. Beglinger also finished with a four-touchdown night. The Knights pulled out all the stops today, and how about the Oak Creek High School robotics team? They made the State Farm t-shirt cannon to entertain fans during the game. Well done. Meanwhile, Franklin well in control, but the Knights kept battling as Fergus finds Doug Hamilton, and he'll take this all the way 53 yards down the sidelines for an Oak Creek score. 
but the Sabres ran away with this one. It's Calais to Vergas, who put up a hat trick as well with this big score. And for the 13th time in 15 meetings, the Sabres take the helmet trophy. Franklin rolls 52 to 21. Feels great. There's no other feeling. The next goal is keep going, keep rolling, just keep winning. I mean, it's just one game, and then, and the end of the, and then on the end of the day, I mean, it's just. Just another game down the road to the end goal of a state championship. The Franklin Sabres keep on rolling. They now move to 5-0 on the season. And next week, they're going to host Kenosha Bradford. Reporting from Oak Creek High School, Lily Zhao, Fox 6 Sports. Thank you, Lily. The Huskies of West Allis Hale heading to Sussex Hamilton for a greater Metro matchup. Hamilton showing its skill on special teams, blocking the Huskies' punt attempt in Hale territory. Now that leads to Jason Osmanski calling his own number and scooting in for the score as he sees an opening there. They would score and score and score again en route to a 55 to nothing win. And this is where we find our High School Blitz Band of the Week. The Chargers marching band firing up the crowd before this one gets going. Always a great sight with great noise from this group. Every once in a while, there's a game that stands out, not because of the records or the teams, but an underlying story, and that's the case tonight. Tim Van Voren has the very special story. The High School Blitz cameras know no bounds. It's undefeated Ensworth Academy of Nashville, Tennessee, hosting Lipsum Academy. Former Badgers quarterback Alex Hornibook is on the Tigers staff. Who knew? Former Packers quarterback Matt Hasselbeck is the team's offensive coordinator. How much does it matter to you? Yeah, like you said, there's a twinkle in my eye. I think my eyes are just glossy from looking at my looking at film and my computer all day, making up a call sheet. I used to make fun of like Andy Reid was my quarterback coach my rookie year, and I used to make fun of the size of that call sheet. And now my call sheet's like equally as big, and I'm coaching high school football. Offense step aside, defense step aside, special teams for Justin Hopkins of the Tigers. All the way winding down the field to the end zone. Who knows where the cameras will be next? In Nashville, Tennessee, Tim Van Voren for the High School Blitz. The rivalry theme moving a little west into the Woodland Conference with Greenfield going to Greendale. Down 7 to nothing. the Hustlin' Hawks going for it on fourth down in Panther territory. Under pressure, Jaden Valdez is stripped of the ball, and there's Will Picagoo scooping it up and going untouched for the score. Well, they'd be down 28 to nothing in the second quarter when Green Greenfield gets a little creative and end around with Braden Zarek stopping and throwing and finding Nate Williams for the score. It's 28 to 7 at that point, but the Panthers pounce 49 to 14. The Richardson division of the City Conference has King facing Riverside with the Generals getting all fired up. On the first play from scrimmage, Tyler Scott is off to the races. More than 65 yards for the score. It's 6 nothing King. Then it gets worse for the Tigers. Kingston, Lambrecht, Holland, well, he fumbles and Bonds. Jamison Bonds is there for the recovery and the touchdown. This was all generals as King rolls to a 47 to nothing win. Well, the summer schedule is now over, and you can relive all of the action from the high school blitz on fox6now.com. But as F. Scott Fitzgerald said, life starts all over again when it gets crisp in fall. That's next week on the Fox 6 High School Blitz. We'll see you then.